In this video, we are going to understand how to send or receive an SMS when HubSpot contact is updated. So my objective is that every time a contact is updated in my HubSpot CRM, then either I can send a SMS to the user or I can receive an SMS being an admin. How can I do that? For this, I'll have to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here our trigger application will be HubSpot CRM and our action application will be Twilio. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page. On the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, sign up. It is absolutely free and it is not going to take more than two minutes. So since I'm an existing user, I have signed in. So as I sign in here, we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got certain contacts in HubSpot. Every time the contact is updated, let's say the email address or the mobile number or the name is updated, then automatically an SMS must be sent to the user as well as it should be received by the admin. So I'm going to name it as send or receive SMS when HubSpot contact is updated. So I'm going to click on create. Now as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be HubSpot CRM. Let's click on this. Now comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be contact updated. Let's click on this. So here on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes. This means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So this workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now, as I click on connect here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with HubSpot CRM account. For this, I'm going to select add new connection, connect with HubSpot CRM. So as I do that here, I have to select the account. So I've done that choose account. Now here we can see that the connection has been successful which means it's authorized and here we have to mention the properties. Now whenever you are creating a contact so you have to mention the properties where the changes can be made. So I'm going to take some very common properties for example first name then we are going to take last name here we have the phone number and let's also add email address. So here is the email address. Okay once done let's click on save and send test request. So as I do that, here we have received the response of the last contact which was updated. Now I'm going to take you to my HubSpot and here let's go to contacts. Now let's say that I want to make a change in this particular contact demo user. So I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to make changes in the email address. So I'm going to edit this and here I'm going to write demo1234 at pabbledudes.com and I'm going to save this. Here you can see that the email address has been updated. So once this is done, I'm going to take you back to Pabbly Connect and as I click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the details of demo user and this here is the updated email address. Similarly, when I make another change, so I will receive the details of that particular contact. Now, once this is done, what is my objective? I want to receive an SMS also send an SMS to the user. So I'm going to choose my action application as Twilio, which helps us in sending SMS. Now the action event here would be to send SMS message. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Twilio account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the account SID and authorization token. So I'm going to take you to my Twilio account. And here we have the account SID. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste this over here and here. Then we need the authorization token. So I'm going to copy this and again, I'm going to paste this here. So once done, let's click on save. And here we can see that Twilio is now connected with Pabli Connect. 
Now here we have to write the body of the SMS. So since I'm writing this message to the user, here I can say, Dear user, your contact on HubSpot has been updated. Updated details are, now here I'm going to mention the name. How? This is the previous step. Let's click on this. This here is the first name. Let's give a space as we go again. This here is the last name. Then the phone number. So I'm going to write phone number. And I'm again going to map this information. So this here is the phone number. And then we have to go ahead with the email address. So I'm going to go here. And this here is the email address. Now I'm going to write regards. So this is the message that will go to my user. And here I have mentioned the details. The method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now here, the sender's number. So the sender number for this, I'm going to take you to Twilio. This here is the sender's number copied and pasted over here. And now here we have to mention the recipient's number. So I'm going to map the number again. How? Let's go to step one. And this here is the recipient's phone number. This is just a mock number. Now, as I click on save and send test request, the message would be sent to my user. At the same time, when I want to send this message to the admin, basically I want to receive an SMS every time the HubSpot contact is updated. So here I would be writing the same thing to the admin and here the number will be admin's number. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the API response according to which an SMS must be received by the user. And here is the screenshot of the same. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to HubSpot and here I'm going to update another contact. So let's say this time I'm going to update smart user and here I'm going to change the mobile number. So here let's change the last three digits as 789 and click on done, save the changes. And once this is done, what should happen within 10 minutes, an SMS must be received by the user. And now we are going to wait for 10 minutes because there's a polling time of 10 minutes and then we will check our message once again. And here you can see the screenshot of the SMS that we have received. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where your trigger application was HubSpot CRM, the event was contact updated, and your action application was Twilio where the event was to send SMS message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.